The idea for the Māori people is that they go into the ground in the way, same way that they came. Uh, from uh, Papa Tūnuka, Earth Mother, you come from the earth, you go back to the earth. And so if they were safe back in the earth, then they would then travel to Cape Ranga and then back up into Hawaii, into paradise, into heaven. We are all made from stardust. The earth from which we came is the earth that we will return to in the end. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, or maybe back to the stars. The old legends say that when we die, we become a star in the sky. We ascend into the heavens to shine on and protect the ones that are still alive, walking the earth. Maybe we'll never know, but one thing is for sure. We, like all life on the planet, are made of stars, water, earth, wind, fire, and life. For the Māori people, they've got different ideas what the glow rooms might be. Some even said, Maybe it's like a scales of a tanifa, a mythical creature for the local Māori people that look after the rivers, the oceans and the lakes, even a cave. And then for some Māori people, they said they would come near the entrances of the cave, they would see these little glowworms up on the roof and that would remind them of their ancestors in the same way they look up at the stars. For some of those stars that they look up in the night sky, those are those who have passed on their ancestors. The Maori people say that the glowworms are here to take care of that water, the lakes, the rivers, and the oceans. Imagine such vast and powerful waters protected by such tiny little creatures. It's Mother Earth's way of showing us all how the tiniest little siblings can take care of its giant older brothers. how small or how big, that's what siblings do. It's Mother Earth showing her love in as many different ways as there are stars in the sky. From the stars to the glowworm, deers, birds, trees, rivers and bees, and people, we are all one.
They all of a sudden opened up this cave to the people. Uh, that was about 20 years afterwards, and ever since people have been coming into Waitomo, discovering these little glowworms, whether they're floating or standing there, and they would usually say it's like floating through space or standing and looking up at the stars. Have you ever wondered why we humans refer to nature as something apart from us? We, just like the land and the wind and fire and the water, are a part of this planet. We are the children of the earth, just like the trees. We are nature. We don't own nature. We are a part of it. It's not ours to do with as we please. It is a part of us that we must protect. The four elements, the animals and trees and the stars and the clouds and the sky, we are all a part of this gigantic universe with which we are one. United by this single power that is common to all the beings of the world, love. Nature knows what she does. She knows the right place for every tree, on every mountain, each bird and every cloud, each breath of wind, and every person, even you. Nature knows, and since we are nature, we too should know. It seems as if we are forgetting our place in this grand cosmic play. The time has come for us to remember who we are, where we came from, and why we're here. We must reconnect with our essence, with our nature. Like Carl Sagan once said, we are all made of star stuff. The nitrogen in our DNA, the calcium in our teeth, the iron in our blood, and the carbon in our apple pies was all made in the interior of collapsing stars. We share this planet with all the other creatures, our siblings. So to take care of planet Earth is to take care of ourselves, our children, our life. Just like the stars in the sky that protect us, shining their light on the ones still alive, walking the Earth. Because we are all made of stars. You come from the earth. You go back to the earth. <laughs>